What's adaptive in one environment becomes counterproductive in another. See, a lot of us, we learn that in the early environment to develop mastery over that environment, we develop certain adaptive traits, whether it's shutting down our emotions, becoming aggressive, utilizing anger, people pleasing. What we've learned is that we had to adapt in certain ways in the early environment and see what becomes an ingenious strategy in one environment becomes crippling in another becomes counterproductive in another because later on in life those traits that become states later on in life they're the very essence the very fabric of what sabotages our relationships and so you shut down your emotions to deal with one environment but now you can't connect to your wife you promised yourself you would never be the victim so you resort to anger as a way to overcompensate but now you're hurting people that you love You learn to people please and give people what they want and tell them what they want to hear as a way to avoid conflict, but now you can't assert yourself or have healthy boundaries. See, what was an adaptive response to an environment early on becomes a prison that you're incarcerated in. And that's why we have to learn that the power is in changing. It's in learning how to be vulnerable. It's in learning how to trust others. It's in learning how to trust ourselves. It's in looking inside ourselves and acknowledging that what once served us is now a shackle. What once was productive in one environment is now sabotaging and decimating the very things in our life that we love. So what did you learn in the early environment that you now utilize in the environment that you're currently in? Childhood survival mechanisms will keep us sick in our adult life. And sometimes we'll continue to rely on and utilize these mechanisms because we, they believe, we still believe subconsciously that they serve a purpose when they're not needed in an environment with different people, with people that love us unconditionally, with people that would, with people that do not pose a threat. See, so you've learned how to survive. You've learned how to adapt. But now it's time for you to engage in counter conditioning. It's the power of changing and breaking the mold. Because if you don't do that, if you don't break the mold, if you don't engage in counter conditioning, then that conditioning is going to take you to a place where you end up sacrificing everything that you love just to feel safe. Everything that you love just to feel in control. Everything that you love just to not have to look within yourself.